almost, almost through. All right, here we go. You're having a nice little discussion here with Peter <laughs> with regards to meat and how long you should bry it. But it is exactly that. Hashtag Bry Friday on your Feel Good Breakfast Show this morning. And we have the most amazing cut of meat, ribeye. So this is definitely one of those types of meat that I, pre I, I presume is the premier kind of cut of meat. Absolutely. Uh, look, in South Africa, we're still uh, adjusting to ribeye. We sort of a rum steak and a sirloin. Yes. But what is so uh, amazing about the steak, okay, let me just get it on, and then we can talk a little bit more about it. A little bit of olive oil. All right. Some beautiful salt. So we're keeping it simple, Simple, basically. straight up. This, to me, to me, the minute you start adding too much to a piece of meat, you start taking away the beautiful flavors. Okay. Okay, so... Salt, pepper, Salt, some pepper, olive oil. and olive oil. Okay, we've got our beautiful Weber grill here. We're going to pop it on. We've seasoned that bottom side, so we're going to put the bottom side down. All right. Okay, nice. You can see how hot that grill is. Yeah. So you, nice want a, you want a hot fire. Absolutely. Uh, you know what? I find that that 10 second rule a little bit too cold. Yeah. I reckon about that eight or seven. So you want to seal it. You want to give it some beautiful yeah. colors. Okay, and then okay. we've got these beautiful um, mushrooms, which we're going to put in the bra as well. So just like that? Just like that. No special treatment needed. No, just a little bit of olive oil. And then when we turn it, we'll have another glug. So some beautiful local olive oil once again. All right. Okay, some salt. Remember, we haven't seasoned the top side. Now, whilst you do that, I mean, the discussion we had was how long should you leave a piece of meat on the fire? So you, you mentioned like it's going to be for about five minutes on the one side and then two or so minutes on the other. Absolutely. And that is to, you, you mentioned to seal kind of the, the, the first kind of side but, down that you're doing. But Tune, I think the, uh, the most important thing is actually the pre-prep. So yeah. basically buying right, make sure that it's organic or free range, something that's like, been treated well. Okay. What's so good about the ribeye, it's either called a... Uh, uh, a prime, a prime, prime steak, yeah. or a Scotch fillet in Australia. Okay. So there's different names for it, yeah. but um, what, what's what's so important? It actually sits very high up on the on the on the animal, yeah. and it's protected by the rib. Okay. So there's that's not much okay. weight actually on it. So that's why it's got so much marbling, yeah. and it's actually such a because normally the four cuts aren't that tender. Yeah. So what's so good about this? Because of the the rib actually protecting it, and there's no weight on it, it's it's definitely one of the better cuts. Okay. 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 So what we um, so, so leaving it on there, but I mean, in terms of the, you mentioned the preparation method is of course very, very um, important. So, so when you get it, I mean, you're looking for a kind of steak that's been aged for at least what twenty one days. At least twenty one days. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and, and when you when you when you're arriving at somebody's bry or you're having the meat at home, do you leave it outside? Do you leave it in the fridge? Uh, you, how do you approach that? The, and this is where we go so wrong. And a lot of even chefs do. They need to bring it to room temperature first. Okay. So that's why once we've cooked it, if it's at room temperature, we leave it out for ten minutes to rest, yeah. and then the meat's still palatable because it's actually it's it's not okay. cold. And that's yeah. where everyone goes. So why people don't like rare steaks in South Africa or blue steaks is because you make the too meat's cold. too cold. All okay. Right. So it needs to. I bring my meat out for eight hours before I actually cook it. Really? Yeah. But only season it right just before you're about to bry it. Yeah. Because that's going to dry out the meat as well. That's why I'm, I'm not a big fan of marinades or rubs or things like that. Because if you do it too soon, it actually alters the flavor. It takes out the moisture. So it's a very... Normally you marinate in things for cheaper cuts, like yes. ribs, yes. like uh, pork ribs or something like that. Yeah. Because you've got to boil it for a few hours. Then you've got to... Yeah. So you've got to cover the taste over it. You know what okay. I'm saying? But with good quality meat, it should just be straight up. So Perfect. Well, there we go. Getting schooled in how to prepare your meat for the bry. Estimate the keyword steak to 33728. That's steak to 33728. And uh, yeah, get your hands on the recipe too. Our very simple ribeye steak recipe this morning. We're going to pair that with a salad in just a bit. We're making a... What, what type of salad are we making? Um, it's a butter bean, Swiss chard some mm. pepper juice, some mm. nice local flavors, but like really fresh and, and different. Yeah. All right, definitely something you want to try over after this weekend with your bride, but SMS the keyword steak to 33728.